All right. Well, welcome everybody once again. Hey, um, <clears throat> we want to appreciate we appreciate everybody getting on with us tonight. We want to just ask that everybody just take a minute, man, and uh, just uh, tweet or you know Facebook post and let everybody know to get on for givingmcc.org. We got Ivy Connerly on the phone. We're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, hop right into this uh, interview with him, man. And we want to uh, first off by saying uh, thank you very much for your time, IV. How you doing out there, bro? Man, I'm blessed, man, and it's a privilege, man. Thank you. Thank you for your time, brother. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, praise God, man. Well, uh, like we say, man, we appreciate your time. Uh, you got a lot going on, man, today, man. And uh, it, it's been, I'm going to say, I'm going to be one of the first ones to say, if you hadn't heard it, I, I'm just excited, man. I've been I've been pretty uh, pretty jazzed up since last night when I picked up uh, picked up the new album, man. Um but let's let's go ahead and do this real quick, man. Just to kind of formalities, man. Let's go ahead and let you uh, let you introduce introduce yourself. Let people know who you are in case anybody's tuned in right now. They don't know who is Ivy Connerly. All right. Well, Ivy Connerly. Um, I think my Twitter says it the best. The deepest level of depravity. I guess um, we can all say that in one uh, in one form or fashion. Um, but uh, I am uh, a native of uh, California and whatnot. Uh, well, actually born in New Orleans, but I grew up um, most of my life in Escondido, small city of San Diego, and L.A., my second home, where I uh, roamed as well. I always consider that my my second dwelling place. <laughs> but um, uh, just um, uh, I'm a husband, you know, been married for um, about six and a half years. Uh, going on seven years, something like that. <laughs> My wife probably gonna be like, uh, "You should know." <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, and I, I'm a member uh, at a local church out here in Hemet, California. That's where I live now, and the church is called Diamond Valley Community Church, and uh, that's exactly what we are—a community church. Uh, by the grace of God, we in the um, you know in the communities and whatnot, and uh, it's just a nice, solid. Um, Orthodox Sound Church that I uh, thank God he led me and my wife to. Um, and, of course, as uh, some of you may know, I'm a rapper as well. Uh, I do Christian rap. Um, I did rap for several years, even when I was in the world, but it was, uh, of course, worldly gangster rap for about mm, almost 10 years, something like that. And, um, and then uh, when I moved away from here, uh, moved to another city, uh, Syracuse, then moved Jacksonville, Florida. God saved me there, and it's been a wrap from there, man. I've been on the grind. Man, well, praise God, man. Yeah, I think uh, I think the movement and everything that you're describing in all of that, man, kind of explains the diversity um, that I've noticed in your music, bro. I mean, just definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, sure. yeah, because, I mean, um, I, hear, I hear different... Um, not really styles, man, but it's just the, uh, the, um, I, I don't know exactly how to describe it other than it just being diverse. You know, you, you hear a little bit of kind of a West coast sound. It, it's a style of your own, you know, that, that I feel, you know, God's really given you man in that. So, um, I can, I can see the elements from, from all the different, uh, you know, places and stuff that God's, you know, been able to, um, been leading you through, man. You know, I hear when I first heard you, I heard, you know, it sounded like you was uh, like more of like an East Coast rapper. And then I was just surprised to find out that you were out in, in California, out near L.A., man. So that was uh, to me, that was kind of like news, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's funny because um, I do get that. And um, but then, of course, when I'm on the East Coast, I do uh get asked a lot of questions where are you from as soon as i open up my mouth you know it's the same thing uh down south but just kind of traveling uh around man um not even just living in in, in, in certain states and cities but i just got a um, chance to kind of you know just observe uh just a lot of different uh neighborhoods you know what i'm saying whether it was the hood or whether it was the suburbs and didn't and just uh you know, people, engaging people and stuff. And, um, of course, when you're evangelizing, you get a chance to meet, like, every personality <laughs> that there is out there. Uh, so 
um, just by the grace of God, man, I just got a chance to really get involved with uh, people and uh, even, of course, when it comes to the music, hearing different styles of music, which city likes what type of music and which state embraces what type of music and um, just kind of uh, tuning in, having my ears, uh, you know, to the streets, uh, so, to, so to speak, and also, of course, in Christendom, uh, um, having my ears wide open to what's going on um, and hearing um my brothers uh, are part of the body uh, from all different part of the countries as well. And uh, I, I can't say that necessarily influenced me, but I can say that, um, that, that, you know, that I've paid attention to it and, uh, and, you know, what I've got, um, um, uh, as you um, put it, you know, something uh, original and just uh, different. So I thank God for that. That's something that I believe every artist, uh, that does music, um, just wants to be unique, you know, in a certain way, uh, not for as superior, of course, uh, in, in, in comparing styles and saying, Hey, this is, this is better than you, but saying, Hey, you know, this is just, you know, God is so diverse in the way he creates and whatnot. Like I was talking to a brother earlier today, so many different types of trees, grass, dirt, animals, you name it. So just love mm -hmm. the fact that, that 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 God is so diverse in in his in in his plan when he created this whole uh earth and he says hey, it's full of his glory so um just thank God we have our own identity um but yet we still um share a common bond in Christ so that's what it is Amen amen that's a good um that's a good explanation of that man cuz um like I'm saying I actually was introduced to your music by um, by the Forgiven Ministry um, president here in Texas. You know, um, the one that uh, founded the Texas chapter here, David uh, Flo. Uh, he was the one that basically introduced me to to uh, your music and everything, man. And I was, uh, you know, it was for me, it was a little different. You know, me being, you know, I have a, a style that I'm kind of I kind of cling to a little bit more. Um, so it, it took me a while to kind of warm up to some of the, some of the. Uh, some of the earlier projects, you know, when I first heard them, you know, just hearing different things on the on the the, the crown rights, you know, videos and so forth that you did, uh, some of the spoken word pieces that I heard you do, you know, as well. Um, but then, you know, when I downloaded the um, the albums that you had out there at one point for like a promo thing or something, I picked up all the music and um, I, I actually took took some time just, you know, uh, in my daily commute, you know, going and coming from work, just kind of listening to to different ones man and um man it was just the the things that were you know in some of those the the wisdom and the things that god's you know really um you know put into you to help share that in a, in a form of music has really been in, inspiring um like i say the wisdom that's that's come from a lot of it has really been uh, a blessing to me and then just being able to hear some of the other more uh heartfelt things you know like um uh, one of the one of my favorite tracks, you know, from the earlier projects is like a uh, um, uh, change, or I think it's called "Change in My Life." Um, yeah, one of those one of those earlier tracks that just really, I mean, it's uh, it's one that just strikes, you know, to the heart, man. That anointing is heavy on that one, man. Just you know, sharing the heart. I, I think that's just something that I'm more drawn to, you know, as opposed to some of the more um, uh, intellectual style of of um, verse verses and so forth but um that 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 is one song that really opened up my my uh i guess my mind to really hear more uh from your music man and just the things that that like i say the things that i know god's had to first impart into you so that you can share it with others man has been uh has been a tremendous blessing man oh man praise god brother thank you thank you yeah uh you took it back to oh <laughs> nine <laughs> with uh yeah, I think uh, I believe the song is is uh, is uh, I yeah I need a change yeah. yeah amen yeah yeah but uh but uh, hey I'm I'm grateful man that uh that you that you like it that you're blessed by it I know some would uh, beg a differ <laughs> and they say no way you go ahead and trash can that one <laughs> but uh but but it's just uh you know like what I was speaking about for as diversity it's just so. Um, wonderful how we all like certain things you know and some of us we all embrace you know a whole lot uh you know we can kind of 
listen to a whole lot of genres of music and but but just within let's just keep it at rap you know um there's some that can embrace uh, uh, uh other artists and other uh you know styles than others can and i respect everybody's um taste you know uh, when it comes to preference you know um i respect uh people who don't even um gravitate to uh the gift that God's given me, even though they, they, they may respect it and give me thumbs up and stuff. And, and, you know, before as you know, you know, they may like rap, but they may not like the way that, you know, that I do it so much. It's just not their style. And I thank God for uh, people who, who um, tell me that and, and honest and, um, you know, cause that's, you know, that's one thing that, uh, that, that, that God had to, um, work in my heart, you know, when it came to that, like, look, this is, this is not, first of all, it's not your body. This is not your, your, your gift. This is not <laughs> you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Doing, doing, doing works, you know, to, uh, um, add on to salvation. No, it's completed. So it's like when, you know, the moment when the artist, I don't care who they are or when any minister gets offended that someone that don't like maybe their style of preaching or their style of music, when they get offended, it's personal and it becomes uh, about them rather than, hey, I understand that this may not be your particular, but, hey, God may have someone you can receive from on this end, however that may sound like or whatever that, that may look like. As long as it's um, orthodox and not, you know, uh, 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 contrary to the word of God, then amen. Bump it, grab it, go uh, and 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 be up under that teaching, or whatever the case may be. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. So, Amen. Yeah, and I I think, like I say, I think the diversity was really what helped me to to kind of uh, be more open to you know some of the things that I heard. You know, and I like I say, you know, um, it, it was definitely a blessing uh, being able to to hear some of it and. Uh, along the way, I mean, you and I know, you know, we've had conversations, you know, offline and stuff, you know, in the past, you know, and, and even this past summer, we had a a real good talk just um, in personal things, not even related to music or anything, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I just know in the conversations that we've had, you know, and just, you know, uh, hearing your heart, you know, in different areas, um, you know, it just it's given me a level of respect for for you, not only just as a you know as an artist, man. I'm I'm just talking like as a man of God. You know, it's it's really you know the things that we've talked about in the past. Uh, I've really just um, it's been a blessing. You know, I know you you directed me in a few things here, even in the in the area in in Dallas that that uh, that were enlightening. You know, as well, man. So um, you know, I'm just blessed, man. I, I'm just blessed. Uh, going and coming, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just uh, ec excited about what God's been doing, man. And uh, I, I just really, I'm looking around and I'm seeing all the all the buzz around the unknown God, man. So uh, let's let's uh, let's hop into that, man. Uh, let everybody yeah. know what you what you got going on today. There's a reason why we set this interview today, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, praise God, man. Um, the unknown God has been a, I mean, it's been a work in progress for, I mean, we've been working on it. I've been back in California now for almost, for, yeah, almost, well, February to make two years I've been back here. And since I've gotten here, um, I've been working on trying to get this album done. So it's, 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 it's been a, it's been a long process. And we actually picked from like 28 songs, almost 30 songs. But we have more songs uh, recorded. So, um, you know, we sat around, me, the Chocolate Knox, uh, Marcus Pittman, uh, my boy Juan Jane, uh, Sharon Shannon, uh, who's featured on um, um, quite a few of the songs. And um, I think it was just all, yeah, just, just us in the studio. And anyway, we... Um, we just picked up, you know, what we felt like was the best 15. There was some disagreements and whatnot, but <laughs> no fallouts. We just was like, you know, there was some good uh, uh, music that didn't make it that I was like, I was trying to fight for, and people was trying to fight for their, you know, for what they liked uh, 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 more than other songs. But anyway, to make a long story short, man, we got this, you know, we had the track list done, and uh, we knew the right records to actually uh, put put on the um 
you know, the, the album, and uh, I just believe that God, uh, God blessed it, man. Every single song had its purpose, and, um, you know, pretty much when you listen to it from track one to 18, it lays it out, and, uh, you know, it lays it out, pretty much tells a story, uh, and, 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 I guess the um, well, I, well, actually, I don't guess. I know um, what the message was really trying to convey. Of course, the title gives it away: is who God really is. And 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 even though it was based on Acts 17, for the most part, when when Paul went to Athens and and he proclaimed who God was, um, who who they worship in ignorance and whatnot, uh, it. You know the album. The album, yeah, that was like the core of it. You know, to 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 uh, enlighten people by the grace of God. Uh, but it also it also had another purpose to um, to uh, kind of bring about a balance with uh, how Christians think and what 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 type of worldview that they have. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of Christians out there, sadly, to say that 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 don't necessarily um they have so they have a worldview but it's just not the correct one that we should have and 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 the worldview that we should have of course is a gospel uh uh um worldview is a biblical worldview and in order to have that we have to be correct in our theology not that theology is um everything you know um but it, it it is uh essential for us to know um the essentials about God so that way we can live out a life um that is that that is pleasing to God in holiness and righteousness and 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 you have to have the right you know mindset um you know for that you know so mm-hmm. so so it was, so it was about it was about that that worldview having the correct thinking as well not just um Knowing who he is intellectually, but you know, now that you do know who he is, or if you know who he is, how does that look in your life? So, challenging worldviews and how you live, and you know, what what is all in your your mind, your <laughs> your 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 um, theology. So, that's just basically what the album was was was. Um, supposed to accomplish and i really believe it it did uh by the grace of god you know yeah amen i mean um <laughs> I, i've been listening to it man and it's just uh every every free moment i've had since since picking it up and it, even leading up to it you know some of the promos that you put out the trump style was a great um you know single that that you pushed out with uh with Ishan, man, what how, what kind of response were you getting early from that? You know, were people kind of expecting, you know, some of that kind of, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, I guess like bold statement, you know, against, you know, the uh, what like you call the pagan rappers, where they were people expecting yeah. all of that just like throughout the whole seventy two minutes, you know, on the CD or what? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know what. Um... Me and the Knox actually talked about that, like putting that out. We <laughs> we was hoping that people didn't think the whole album was gonna be like based on like, hey, here's the unknown God to all you pagans. No, but this is just <laughs> this is the unknown God to everyone. But you know, but that song Trump style, man, it's just like, I mean, let's just be honest. Um, in 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 Christendom, you know, we hear a lot of um, we hear a lot of artists now now i'm not just gonna um say say people in particular they're just out there whether they're known or not but they are influenced by um um the culture and that's not necessarily a bad thing for the most part you know far as being 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 influenced by uh maybe um a style of beat or maybe uh, you know, just just a rhyming uh, pattern, like you know, like admiring art and saying, "Well, the content is garbage," but you know, he so can rap. You know, I and you know, and some people may may disagree with me about that, but but I don't see anything wrong with saying, "Well, you know, that's good," because we know what's good, we know what sounds good, and we know we what what doesn't sound good. You know, uh, the problem is is when we say that that sounds good and 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 I don't know if you watched the video on Christ is the standard but it's, the problem is, is 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 when we say that sounds good and that's the standard 
No, that may sound good, but that's not the standard. So all these um, uh, um, Christian artists who are trying to seek to be like the world and think that there's nothing out there better than the world. There's nothing out there better than those pagans. So I must achieve that level of, of, of excellency in order to be valid, you know, valid in what I'm doing. When when the mind needs to shift and and you know and you know Romans fourteen you know whatever is not done in faith is uh, sin. If you believe that God's called you to um, be whatever it is that you are uh, in faith, then you ought to do that. And um, and you know I know the context there was talking about you know liberty. However, it, he he you know it 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 categorizes everything. What you know whatever is not done in faith is is sin. So. If 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 you actually believe that God God has called you to do a certain whatever it is that He called you to do, uh, then first you you have to realize you know and I believe every true believer realized that God is holy. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He's a God of just I mean when you look at creation how beautiful and how uh, excellent it is. Like the word says that the earth is full of His glory. You know. And uh, when you look around, of course, you see the slums and you see the ghettos, but you see the nice suburbs and you see the nice, you know, you know, the Cayman Islands and all the wonderful places in this whole world. You really see um, the beauty of God, how he, how he, and well, in the glory uh, uh, of God, when uh, even in creation. So, so general, general revelation uh, has a big, uh, a big impact. But, but my point is this: my point is, if we know we serve such a God, the the only Creator, um, who is excellent. I mean, who can who can create these things? But someone who is beyond our comprehension, so to speak. Um, then then the then 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 what He's given us by faith, if we believe He's given us these gifts, then we ought to be excellent at 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 what we're doing and w- when we're presenting it to Him. You know, and we're saying that, hey, this is for God. There's so many people that's always like, yeah, for the glory of God, for the glory of God, for the glory of God, for the glory of God. And that's great, absolutely. You know, we, we everything should be done to the glory of God. Um, the only problem is when you're saying this is to the glory of God and you're saying that this is what God called you to do and it's not the standard. It's not. It's not excellent. Now, 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 we ought to grow, you know. Not overnight we're going to do some fantastic uh, work, but there should be a growth. I, I mean, um, you know, there should be growth. Same thing uh, with our life, with everything in our life, the way we um, live and the gifts that we have, and, and, you know, we ought to develop in every single one of those areas um, for the glory of God. You know, if we're going to represent the king, we have to represent him right and seek how to do that in prayer and just um and and you know and in and in studying his word and 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 really consulting him about everything um to be excellent at it because we serve an excellent God and and we appreciate what he's done. So, um what does that look like in your life if you appreciate that? So that's what Trump style was about, you know, that pagans aren't that we're 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 growing in that area. We're we're offering up what's excellent, and you know Christ is the standard. Amen. You still there? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Even when I saw the video, and even more now, just as we're talking, um, just I just I just immediately just began thinking about um, Malachi three, and you know it talks about um the book of remembrance being written um i just pulled up the scriptures because it was just so heavy um i just want to kind of read it because uh i i i feel like it really um describes i think some of the heart of what i was feeling when when you were sharing uh christ is the standard uh in that video and if anybody hasn't seen it just type in christ is the standard ivy connerly on youtube and it'll come up or just go to ivyconnerly.com and uh, and check it out. I challenge you to just go look at that, man. But uh, there's some scriptures in, in Malachi 3 towards the end. It says, um, your words, this is the Lord speaking, your, your words have been stout against me, says the Lord. But you say, how have we spoken against you, Lord? 
and you have said it is vain to serve God. What profit of our keeping his charge or of walking as in mourning before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the arrogant blessed evil doers, not only prosper, but they put God to the test and they escape. You know, so like those scriptures is like the Lord is saying, hey, look, y'all, y'all are over here talking like uh, these guys are blessed and they're not even serving God. They're not even doing what, you know, anything for the Lord. And, and so what good is it for me to keep doing it that way? Why don't I just go ahead and try to do it, you know, this way and seek, you know, the fame and things. Those were the things that was coming to my heart as you were just sharing now and even in the video when I first saw it uh, a few weeks ago. But here was the great thing. And this is the, the promise that God has given to us and, and to those so that even even as as us and when we see people doing that, we, we have a promise that God's given to us. It says uh, Malachi three sixteen. Then those who feared the Lord spoke with one another. The Lord paid attention and heard them and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared the Lord and esteemed his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts in the day when I make up my treasure possession. And I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then once more you shall see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. Man, that's a great promise because God is telling telling us in that, man, that he's writing these things down for us, man. I mean, he's got a he's going to uh, he when he makes up his treasured possession, God is going to spare us. And he's going to allow us to enter in. It's not about trying to seek the, the standard of what entertainment has created, uh, the, the, the value that comes with success in the world's perspective of being financially blessed, having a million followers on Twitter and et cetera, and having 100,000 views on your music video the day it comes out or, or selling a, a million records and getting a, a deal you know, to be able to, uh, you know, just do whatever, you know, I mean, the things that, that we seeking as children of God should be always the standard of placing Christ and, and elevating what we're doing with um, in comparison to what God can give give to us. And it, it doesn't matter about the fruit of what we see compared to what the natural eyes see, man. And uh, I, I think the great one of the greatest things in that in that whole statement that you made, you know, was just really letting people know we have the Holy Ghost. I mean, the, 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 the secular people, they have their their, you know, the influence from the enemy. And, you know, they might have these finances to do, you know, certain things. But, man, we have the, the power of God living and residing within each one of us to be able to raise the level of, of, of quality in anything that we do when it comes to presenting the gospel, when it comes to just living a life that's pleasing to God, man. And th those are some great words, man, that you shared in that video, too, man. Hey, praise God, man. Hey, man, that was great what you just shared right there, brother. Powerful, man. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, man. I mean, I read Malachi before, but uh, I ain't pay attention to that verse uh, <laughs> as much. I need to go back and read that. So praise God for that jewel, man. Yeah, that's a jewel right there. So, yeah, hey, amen. That is so true, you know. And, I, you know, I, I think a lot of people also uh, forget uh, who's ruling and reigning right now. You know, the scriptures say that um, heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. Everything is underneath uh, his feet. And, um, you know, the last enemy, of course, would be death. But by the grace of God, you know, um, since we are joined heirs with Christ and since we are set with him in heavenly places and since he did say that, um, hey, uh, like uh, the psalmist said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Uh, we often forget that everything that the pagans have belonged to us, that the um, that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. And uh, at, at the same time, if, if, if God has given us Christ, he's freely given us all things. You know, like it says in Peter, I forget if it's first or second Peter, where he says he's given us all things pertaining to life uh, and godliness. So um, what do we have that, you know, or, or, or what do we don't uh, have, you know, you know, it, it, in Christ Jesus, well, we have everything. That's why it makes so much sense to say, you know, um, that godliness with contentment is great gain. I mean, and and I've read that scripture over and over again, and then and then it popped out at me. And I'm like, wow, 
godliness will contend in this great game. But godliness, who can be content with godliness? Because it's 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 a forever. <laughs> we go from glory to glory, and we see more and more, and we develop more and more, and we bear more fruit, and we're constantly being sanctified. And it's like, wow, who can be content with that? And we are, we are content with it, but in a sense, we're not. So, like this life is all, uh, this Christian life is almost like, you know, uh, a paradox, tr- uh, truly, because. You know, uh, we we ought to thirst and hunger after righteousness. And at the same time, Christ says, hey, you come to me, you'll never thirst. You know, you'll never be hungry. And that's true. Both of the, those statements is very true. And that's something that we understand clearly, but the world don't, don't uh, understand. So we know that this all belongs to him. So um, if God takes care, of course, the, uh, the sparrows, like, like, um, like, like Jesus said, you know how much I'm. Mean, we're we're worth more than many sparrows. You know, so um, you know, the, the, our main focus is seeking uh, the kingdom of God first and all His righteousness and um, the things that we need. God will provide it for us. You know, the things that we need, He'll add them. You know, to us. And of course, uh, you know, we thank Him for that. You know, we we thank Him when we uh, are in lack. And we thank them uh, when we have an abundance, you know, to be able to be good stewards over what we have and to be able to um, see God working when we are in lack, how he puts it on people's hearts to be such a, 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 a bless, you know, such a blessing at times and whatnot. And just seeing how all that works out for our good. See, the world don't understand that, you know, that, that that's why they don't have that hope. That that uh, um, um, like how it says in Romans five, we have a hope that don't put us to shame. Theirs does, you know. We, you know, we don't mourn or we don't grieve, you know, like 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 the world, you know, in that sense. No, you know, we we, we have hope. We do mourn, we do grieve, but you know, um, it's 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 way different from the world. We have expectations, we have uh, assurance, we have a hope that don't fade away, you know. And I thank God for that, you know, um, and, 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 and it all boils down. It all comes from the faith that he's given us, that gift that he's given us and constantly allowing us to grow in faith and, 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 and knowing what to pray for and putting those desires in our hearts, what to pray for and asking for that to happen so that we can have the right desires to pray for. But when we look at it, wow, he's given us Christ. What is anything else in the world? You know, what am really what am I um, in need of? I I have everything. <laughs> I have everything, and and often the flesh um, forgets that because we look at, of course, the worldly possessions. We look at the gadgets and the gadgets and the you know everything that's in the world, and and then we don't understand that. Yeah, but who created the world? <laughs> you know, and uh, if we don't have something, obviously, if we're in Christ Jesus, it's not meant for us to have it or we have not because we ask not, and like in James says. And if we uh, uh, um, don't have, you know, and we ask, it means we're. Act, I'm just paraphrasing, of course. We're asking in the midst. We're asking to consume it on our own lust, and not for it to really glorify God. If we want things in life, you know, if we want abundance of whatever it is, um, then 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 um, it has to be the Spirit of God that is that is uh, provoking us to uh, glorify him with these things that we're in prayer, prayer about, you know? Yeah. Amen. And I mean, uh, the other verse I always think about too is, is where it says that God's given us the power to get well so that we can establish his covenant on the earth, you know? And like you say, you know, it's not trying to consume it on our own lusts. It's, it's to help be, to be able to be used by God as a vessel and, and utilizing those things that he entrusts to us as stewards you know, just uh, to be able to um, utilize that in a way that's going to, in the end, you know, bring glory to God, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's definitely something that, that uh, as, as Christians, you know, I hear, you know, you got to balance because some people say, oh, you don't need all of that, you know, or this and that or whatever, you know, and, um, you know, I, I believe that, that if we're going to uh, basically have a voice a lot of times, um, we're, we're going to need the resources to be able to do certain things that that uh, I mean, you got to be able to compete in uh, it's in, in an MTV generation, man. You know, they I mean these uh, mm-hmm. they're, they're they, you know, these kids and everybody who's watching TV and listening to music. You know, there's a certain level of uh, 
of quality that's come to be expected. I was talking with uh, Seven about it uh, a few months ago uh, when we were talking about putting together this DVD, you know, and, and uh, you know, he was saying the same thing. He was like, I see, you know, other people putting things out there, you know, ministries, and, and it's good, you know, it's ministry, but it's just not the quality, you know, that it needs to be to be able to really uh, be a, a real voice, you know, in, right. in, in, in that, uh, in that way. And some people, I, you know, I've taken, <laughs> I've taken shots, you know, like you, you know, saying, you know, some people don't agree with the way you do certain things, you know, present them, you know, with the music, you know, I've had people tell me, you know, well, you know, you, you could sell your car and, and, uh, you know, we were a car club. So they're like, you know, you could sell your car and feed the poor with that, you know? And I'm like, you know, that's like telling Lecrae to go sell his studio and feed the poor. You know, you're taking away, you know, a, a you know, a vital platform in what God's given him to do. You know, yeah. and so and that same and that same person could uh <laughs> put up their house <laughs> to uh, feed the poor and and, 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 and and downsize if they wanted to, like you know, mm -hmm. like we yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but the whole thing about it is, if that's not what God called me to do, <laughs> not what He called me to do. Yeah, and, yeah. Amen. So Amen. I mean, and, and even on the other end of it, too, you know, uh, we, you know, as and if we're given, we have, you know, guidelines that we set too, and, and uh, you know, it's not just to, to, to be able to just compete, you know, and just have a, you know, win a trophy or something, but it, there, there's people in, in what we do, there's people that will never listen to us because they say, oh, well, you a Christian and, and you, you, you got a car or whatever and your car looks like that. And if it's not, you know, up to a certain standard, they're going to look like, well, why do I need God? I mean, look, look at your car. Look at mine. I'm good without them. You know, why do I need God? <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. you know, those are just some of the yeah, things, yeah. you know, examples of it, you know, in, 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 in how I see it, you know, and, and I believe that, man, I believe God does really. Uh, you know, he, he entrusts, you know, certain ones. It, it's up to the level of where we're ready, you know, what we're able to to handle. You know, he's going to allow yeah, for absolutely, us as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That is that is so true. Like, you know, there's that balance that I see because, I mean, I remember when I was in Jacksonville, Florida, I had a, uh, I mean, I had a hoopty. I had a, uh, I liked it though. I was, I, I, I was hoping to take it down here with me, but it just, it just it just didn't get right, man. It just you know it kept it kept messing up on me. But I had a '83 Lincoln Continental. It was a Valentino edition, uh -huh. and uh, it, you know it was nice, man. I, I mean I liked. It. I mean it, I mean the body was nice, but the whole engine, everything was all towed up. <laughs> um, and uh, and at this particular time, um, you know the body was right. You know it, it couldn't need a paint job and all the other stuff, but it was dusty at this time. And this one lady said, you know. She 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 went to this other church and this church was uh, influenced by Creflo Dollar and whatnot, and she was like, how how why would somebody want your God if you're driving something like that? And it's like you know, <laughs> because the uh, so fact is I I'm I'm not worshiping that I'm worshiping God I'm not worshiping that. Now, at the same time, uh, if I like say if I had a, a a car ministry like how you do. Would I want my cars to look great? Absolutely, but I, but I, di that's what I didn't have. I, I had my music, and and the music was packaged up, looking right and sounding right at the time, uh, to the best of my ability then, and um, that's what she should have been uh, paying attention to. And if God called you to, um, you know, to hey, have the best cars and promote the um, uh, gospel or just, just live the gospel throughout having a car club, then, yeah, ride and ride in the best whips. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, you know. I mean, we're supposed to have, you know, the best to represent God, you know. So, And if we don't, then what are we doing, you know. I mean, I mean, what are we doing? And, 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 and uh, a lot of us, um, like a friend of mine always says, you know, they 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 lie on God. They, they, oh, this is what God called me to do. But then, but all your stuff and your material is is is, is not good. And there's people lying to you. You know, like I mean, it, it, you know, I I wouldn't I wouldn't tell nobody if I had a you know a, a, a car club at the time and riding what I was riding in. <laughs> I wouldn't want nobody telling me that. Oh man, you got the man, you got one of the best cars, man. I'll be. You know, and then I start believing them and stuff, and then somebody <laughs> point out to me like, "Look, look at your car, and then look at that one. You see the difference? <laughs> you know, yeah. you want to you want to represent what you know. You want to represent God in the car club, and you know, let me 
you know, let me, you know, hopefully get your mind right in Scripture so you can see that, hey, we, you know, we glorify God with, um, you know, with our gifts and our talents and even, you know, with, with possessions. If we have the right heart to have these things, to glorify God in these things, amen, then let's do it. But, uh, but yeah, Seven was right about that, just like you were right, even with the mindset of, of uh, like, some of our production, some of our um, the things that we do, whether it's video or whether it's music. Um, we think just because we stamp the name of Christ on it that people, you know, um, should just embrace it. And, and if they don't, they just hate him. No, <laughs> that may not be the case at all. The case is, is that you might be lazy and you might not be working as hard so you can actually um, have something great if God has given you this gift to uh, glorify God with and that the world would look at and give God the glory for it. Because, I mean, that's it's scripture. Let our light shine before men that they would see, you know, the good works and glorify God, you know. And, you know, they should see our conduct, our character, the way that we um understand to care about these things carefully you know for as possessions carefully to glorify god with them you know and 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 we understand that we you know we serve a god who are, who is to be referenced you know uh, you know with, with 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 i mean fear and trembling i mean that you know the whole nine so we have to be careful what we offer up to god and what we show people because um you know, you know, people are, 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 you know, we are walking epistles, you know, uh, uh, um, um, as uh, scriptures say in, in, in man. And we got to just be careful how we uh, represent God. And, and, and so many people are so quick to throw out, oh, God told me to do this, God told me to do that, or I'm called to do this and I'm called to do that. When, um, when you look at what they do, um, clearly they're not, you know. And it sounds so arrogant to some people, like, you know, um, I saw a comment even on YouTube. Somebody was like, well, it's like you're comparing yourself um, to the world. No, there's no comparison. Like if she was to watch Trump style, it's no comparison. You know, dead men are dead in sin and we're alive in Christ. So that's why we're saying that how ridiculous that is. So Christians ought to just know who they are. And, and we all are blessed with certain gifts and um, and, and abilities and whatnot. And, um and and we're saying, hey, we're using this to the glory of God, and everything you're doing is futile. That's absurd. So that's what we're trying to point out. So to so now, you know, come to Christ and live. You know, we we have to love you and and uh, enough to be able to tell you where you're at and how and whatever you got for a skill for a possession doesn't matter. Um, you know, if you don't have Christ and if you're not doing everything to the glory of Christ. And you, you just, you just, um, you just breathing, you know. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Do all things as unto the Lord, man. And so, you know, we always want to give, you know, our best when it comes to those things, man. And I mean, uh, like I say, you know, from from some of the things in in the new album, just already, you know, I I really haven't just. Uh, sat down and and uh, and tried to memorize any of the the lyrics or really just you know run them back too much because I wanted to just kind of get a high level of the sound and everything and you just got it's got so many great um, you know artists you know featured on it as well you know um, I know you had a couple brothers from Humble Beast featured on it you know obviously Eshawn on the Trump style that you know the the single that kind of introduced the album coming out um, but there was a song on there with um, odd thomas that's just been kind of i've been running that one back a few times man trying to capture everything in that man that's uh let let the people know a little bit about that paradoxes uh track that you got that you got on the uh on the new album oh man yeah um man yeah i was blessed um you know by that brother gracing me um with a verse for that album um or for that particular record because you know um I came up with the idea of paradoxes because, you know, you see them in Scripture and um, Christ telling parables, you know, and, 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 you know, and people aren't understanding what he's saying to the point to where, of course, the disciples have to ask him privately, like, what do you even mean by that, you know? Um, 
at the same time, you know, throughout the the whole entire Bible, you know, you you have pagans mocking scripture constantly all the time by saying, oh, there's so many contradictions and whatnot, and we don't see contradictions. We see alleged paradoxes, but they make so much sense to us. In order to be up, we must come down. And uh, and I thought, you know, the perfect person um, that is kind of just, just, just that, that has a way with words that would be perfect for this record would be our, our, um, our Thomas and just... Um, yeah, and this was like way before uh, I even had the concept. Um, I was in Atlanta, and and, and uh, I was at um, uh, the Chocolate Knox house, and we were just talking about you know the record and stuff. And we're like, man, what about this cat, uh, Thomas? Like, you know, he you from you know from Humble Beast, he's really really good. You know, uh, Braille's excellent at what he does as well, man. I mean, I, I love their whole movement, and and um, just to be around those brothers and just. Um, I mean, their hearts, man, and just, just, just to hear them is just excellent. You know, uh, at the same time, it's just our time is just, just kind of, um, kind of, kind of was the one that I was like, he is the one that that would fit perfect on this song. When it was time to create the album, and when that concept came about, and I, it just came about. Um, because I'm like, you know, I, I've never heard a song on paradoxes before. Nobody's ever explained it. And it's not like I've really explained anything. So when he put his touches on it, he he snapped and uh, um, embarrassed me on my own record. But that's okay. I, I, I forgive him. It's forgiving ministries, right? So. <laughs> <Straight up. laughs> no, but I, no, but I told him, I told him he smashed it. I mean, he did a wonderful job. Man. Praise God! And uh, and, and 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 it was just the clear, um, the clear gospel. So you know, uh, even though when people hear, me, our time is kind of laying it out. That's why um, his verse was was uh, last, as well as um, to like Shaolin, because they were the ones that kind of un- unpacked it at the end um, with what with, with I was um, trying to convey and whatnot. So, um, yeah, that's how that that's how that came about, man. Um, um, but, you know, well, of course, how we got in touch was, you know, through Facebook and whatnot, and um, through friend requests and things like that, chopping it up, and uh, I believe he was already familiar with my ministry. I was familiar with his, and we just chopped it up, and just one thing led to another, man, and um, you know, started um, bumping into him at a couple of uh, uh, events, and just man, just hearing his heart was just wonderful, um, uh, you know, about ministry, about Christ, and just very Christ-centered and uh, sound in his theology, and um, just real transparent cat, man, and. Um, I love I love cats like that. It's just like you know what you see is what you get is is uh you know and with 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 that amount of talent it's just you know it 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 it's rare um it, at least it is rare for me to see you know um I don't I don't get a chance to see and be around that as much so thank God for that brother for um for um for hopping on that paradox so yeah I, I hope more and more people are blessed by it as well so yeah. Yeah, in case people haven't uh, known, you know that um, too. There's Dr. Vody Bakum. Uh, thank God for him, and um, I listen to a lot of his sermons, and he's up there around your way, of course. And um, you know, I uh, uh, just thank him for his time to do the interviews and and Shylin to be with him, and for him to uh, uh, grace me uh, with the future, well, with the feature <laughs> rather on the uh, uh, album. Uh, Eshan, of course, that's my boy. I've been knowing him since Jacksonville, you know. And, uh, you know, we linked up to a mutual friend, uh, Big Phil, and uh, and then we just kind of was rocking off and on, man, from there. And, you know, and from, this is probably like Trump Style was, I think, our fourth record together. So, uh, you know, thank God for that, brother, man. The real soldier, real soldier. So, um, and and what 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 God is doing in all their lives is just remarkable. So I'm I'm constantly praying for them and praying for all you guys as ministry man, for giving ministries man. Um, I see y'all pumping, just 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 pumping and, and and trying to get the word out and not trying but successful at it, getting it out there. So so I'm definitely gonna continue to uh, pray um, for forgiving ministries as well. And uh, of course, the Chocolate Knox man, uh, he did like most of the production, 
and uh, the brother the brother uh, graced me with them pipes, laid it down. You know, Marcus was a great uh, 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 encourager as well. Uh, and can't forget the new artist, Sharon Shannon. I want to tell people to be on the lookout for Sharon Shannon. Um, I I thank God for the remarkable gift that He has given her, and it's just evident when you hear uh, her voice that um that it's good it's it's quality it's polished it's just excellent and i just i just love i just love her vo- uh, her voice and i just cannot wait for people to hear her future projects that's on the way so Sharon Shannon when people get a chance to hear her records i i don't know if they'll be ready for that but uh yes definitely all glory to god and i think thank god that she was a part of this record as well and um did i uh, did i miss anybody that was on this album um i don't believe so but um just just all the other you know uh, the producers man but mainly david uh the chocolate Knox himself <laughs> knocked out them beats sung them choruses and we 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 man we did a lot of work i went to um atl for about a month to work on the album and whatnot we didn't work the whole month but we could but but we got it in a lot you know when it was time to crank out that album I and mean, there was sometimes like we spent a whole day just doing one song, you know. Mm-hmm. I did all the recording here in California and going out there, you know, just mixing on his system and just transferring uh, vocals and redoing vocals and tracking out all the, you know, the beats and also just, you know, tracking out the vocals, of course, and putting it down and mixing it. Then when I came back to California, uh, I mastered it, and and then you have what you have, you know. Um yeah, David helped me out a lot too with the mixing and um mixing all the beats he did by himself and just uh helping me with the vocals and um stuff like that too. And uh, you know, I just pretty much kinda of put the finishing touches on it and and um the unknown God, you know. Um I know I'm really hoping that people are encouraged. I'm hoping people are convicted. I'm hoping that uh, of course sinners come to repentance and the knowledge of Christ and hoping that just uh Believers, believers, uh, just be encouraged, be challenged, be beat down, broken down, and also built up and edified, the whole nine, because I love it when the Word does that to all of us, and it should be always doing that to all of us, you know, convicting us, but building us up constantly. So uh, that's 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 my prayer for the album and for all those that hear it, um, that they may uh, experience that. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there there's uh there's definitely a number of songs on there that are going to challenge even in a lot of the uh the a lot of the interview uh content with uh with Dr. Body was uh was real inspiring too just hearing his heart and uh and, and the sermon, you know, that he he basically kind of put together and you guys, you know, mixed it mixed it up, you know, for the uh for the album was great. Um I think it was a great compliment to the project, you know, and just kind of, it, it does kind of lay out the, the foundational, um, you know, structure that you were, you know, explaining, you know, how, I mean, cause it was real good to just kind of just listen to the whole, uh, thing straight through. Um, you know, the paradoxes, I think it goes right into questions right after that. So those, those two kind of go hand in hand. I think they're just looking at them, you know, and, and hearing them, um, was, was a great, uh, was a great uh mix on that side of it too but uh the quality's there man and it's it's definitely a great project man tell everybody how they can find the uh find the album um as of right now you can get the album off uh my website which is um dot uh dot com and whatnot um but hopefully tonight or uh, in the next day or two, I've been on I've been on iTunes and all them, and and, and uh, it'll be available soon on those uh, those sites like iTunes, Amazon, dot com, um, Spotify. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, e Music, Rhapsody, and um, uh, X Xbox Music. Um, probably missing a couple of other stuff but 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 yeah it's gonna it it you know i'll be posting stuff but 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 basically right now you can get it asap from the website ivyconley.com 
um, and the other social uh, sites or, you know, the other media, you know, you know, uh, um, sites, you can, you can pick it up from there fairly soon. Hopefully not, like I said, but that's that. And, uh, I encourage you guys to get it and, um, be blessed. I appreciate all of you guys who supported it already. And I thank God for all those who are supported in the future. So, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Amen. Amen. Well, we, we definitely value your time, man. So, um, you know, we, we're, we're going to wrap it up tonight, man, and uh, let you get back to your family. And uh, we're going to close out with uh, with one of the tracks, uh, the one that we kind of talked about that I kind of enjoy the most. And uh, we'll let the audience kind of listen to that one. And then we'll uh, you and I just kind of uh, uh, hang up over here on the phone, man. So uh, here goes. Uh, go ahead and introduce this uh, this track. It's the Paradoxes track. Go ahead and let them know. Uh, All right. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. This is Paradox. Featuring I Thomas from Humble Beast. Yay. my mind they say cause they heard me say wanna live you die, die, die. And they mock me just by saying they see, I know they blind. blind. But we see the unseen, disregard physical eyes. eyes. And I'm so free and I'm such a slave. Motaneous, motaneous. Strong when I'm weak, full when I don't eat. You awake, but you still sleep. Wanna, 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 wanna come up, gotta stay down. Wanna speak loud, make no sound. Attracting love, attracts hate. Take my hand, I still rock a crown. Okay, dude, seek to be wise, become a fool. I'm saying yes by saying no, no. Finding rest up under that yoke. One more treasure, give it away. Requesting pleasure, it's in pain. And to live is Christ, to die is gain. That's they my name. Oh, 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 oh. He must be crazy, you know. Oh, oh, oh. He's out his mind. Nobody's ever go that way. He can't be fighting. Oh, 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 oh. He must be crazy. You know, oh, oh, oh. He's out his mind. He can say, hey, hey, hey. Nobody's ever go that way. He can't be fighting. Oh, 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 oh. We triumph and defeat. Con conquer by yielding. Want to know more? Become like children. The richest men have no millions. Billions. Standing up in these earthly stages. But I'm narrowing them heavenly places. Don't need a mirror. I see myself clearer through these pages. 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 But I just want to let y'all know that if you go to um, ForgivenMCC.Bandcamp.com, I'm going to throw the link up there for y'all right now. But if you go to ForgivenMCC.Bandcamp.com, and we got a free download for y'all today, man. Anybody who's uh, watching the uh, broadcast tonight, just go on there. Uh, look for the album or the track that's entitled Fade Away by Eshawn Burgundy featuring e Ivy Connerly. You can download that for free right now so go ahead and go pick that up man it's a free download and y'all can finish listening to odd uh, thomas rip the rest of this track man god bless y'all it's so astounding it's hard to wrap your mind around it living in a state where faith makes everything around me seem like it's upside down so complex but even the most unintellectual connects with it and even the most astute without the spirit of god sees truth but still rejects it all the merits of men can never make it amends to the god we've offended and when compared to god in his holy nature every act and effort is unaccepted and through the sin of one man sin entered in and begin to spread its infection but through the perfect blood of god's son the innocent one love and grace then extended so now i live in a die because the die is gain acquainted with peace in the midst of great pain we became free by becoming a slave and decrease with the aim to bring fame to his name might sound strange but we don't care what they say even if they call us crazy for living that way tough to swallow until you follow the word play upside down every day all day
All right. Well, that's it, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in tonight, man. We're going to definitely, we have the, uh, the un, um, Unknown God album is now in rotation on Forgiven TV. So you can tune in anytime and, um, you know, catch it running through the rotation and uh we'll keep you posted man we got some uh we got a big thing going down this saturday uh it's our uh third annual toy drive happening in dallas uh so anybody that's out there in down da- in the dallas uh fort worth area man y'all come out and uh show some support man they saying it's gonna be cold man but we got some heaters that we gonna bring out we got some uh some logs on the fire man that we're gonna throw out there man so we're gonna try to keep it nice and comfortable for everybody but definitely come through man show some support man you can go on to forgivingmcc.bandcamp.com like it says on the uh on the video feed there and uh pick you up a uh a forgiven ministry t-shirt or something you know we got some t-shirts out there we got some music out there uh go on there man and get those uh get those resources man we appreciate everybody's support man and uh we're just gonna close out with prayer Father, we thank you for all that you're doing in our life, God. We thank you for just allowing us to uh, come together tonight and just uh, be able to uh, dialogue and, and and talk about the things that uh, that you're doing through uh, uh, Ivy Connerly and his ministry, God. We thank you for, for him, and we pray blessings over him and his family. Uh, God, we pray uh, blessings over Ca- uh, Crown Rights and uh, all the artists that were involved on the project. Father, we pray that you would just... Uh, um, continue to bless them and uh, help them to be able to have all their their needs met, Father, the needs to uh, fulfill the ministries uh, that you've called them to, God. And we forever give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless y'all, man. We appreciate everybody, man. Go on, uh, go on ForgivenMCC.org and, uh, you know, go to the guest book, man. Type in a comment. Let us know you were on tonight, man. And uh, we appreciate y'all's support. And y'all uh, stay tuned. We're going to keep banging this um, Unknown God. I got this one track right here. It's called If featuring uh, Sharon Shannon, which was one of the artists that Ivy spoke very highly of, man. So I challenge y'all to go ahead and check this out. And uh, we out, man. God bless. Why you was young and impressionable Like how I used to be So you reminded me of me Benny Conus riding with us Hitting liquor stores Tossing you bottles in the back seat Here you go You was only 15 looking up to me I used to have you hitting licks Bagged up your weed You was proud being part of the clique Mashing Little homie you had heart ready to smash him. I guess I was proud too Another little me Trying to make it in this industry Sucker free then I moved away, heard you was looking at years Feeling bad for all the things that I put in your ears I called the homie and your name came up And he said you didn't hear, I'm like, no, nah, about what? Heard they found you hanging in your cell one day To this day, they don't know if it was foul play Wishing I could have been there with you As the person that I am today Love one Know that I was there with you. Back then we were both the same. Oh, I wish that we been through some things together. Yes, indeed. Mashing all around the land. You and me in the Regal and Reynolds. Banging instrumentals. Staying up, rapping the four in the morning. Was official. Miss some of those nights. In the hood we would hang. Since you've been gone, LA ain't the same. When I was young, you gave me game, taught me how to survive in times, how to move around. Any day we could die. My mind was all fuzzy when I was viewing your flesh. I was trying to wake you up, didn't want to accept death. Not for you, not this way, not this soon. First time we ain't talking, then we in the same room. So I knew that in your body you wasn't there. And I miss you all of the days that I'm here. I can't believe they gunned you down on the street so many years it was you and me. Now you're gone. Wishing I could have been there with you. As the person that I am today. Love one. And even though I know that I was there with you.
Time, never had a chance to pay my respects. We did grind. Many hours in the studio, we got it in. Became friends, shared in the same sins. But you were still special to me, regardless. And you look past the fact that I was just the artist. As years went by, more bonding. Good vibes, smiles on our faces, but pain in the eyes. A little bit of everything went around then. You were so talented, more like a genius, expressing our hearts through music.